Good Senator Stella Adezo Odua, popularly known as Adeze Nemogo, paid an unprecedented visit to the people of Oboko and Imbuka regarding the threat the flood poses to the people and their habitation at large. Two, it has not been distilled for a very long time. Yeah. Three, the, the Niger and the Nepa construction blocks it completely. Yes. So when you have high flood mm. and in any given rainy season, mm. all the water will back this way okay. and back into a bar okay. at the same time. Mm. And then go out to mm. gas trucks. Mm. So the best thing need to do in reconstructing this place is first of all the stillets which means that we need a boogie mm. we need a swamp boogie okay. to, to come and open up the water now when the swamp boogie comes what the swamp boogie will do will be two things one it will create more land two it will open up the waterways yeah so water flows down back to the river niger mm. instead of flowing back the residents and create more land, land. for people. Okay. You know, so that's what we're going to do and that's mm. what is in this year's budget. So by God's grace mm. we should be able to do that. Wow. You can you can see the population it's here massive. is massively mm. populated mm. but forgotten. Mm. Forgotten for some reasons. Mm. So, government intervention at this time actually should be federal government intervention no. because this is the only slum you have in Southeast no. and the worst slum within the nation. Therefore, what needs to be done is to have federal government revisit here. Yeah. Already, we have ecological. Program we are the queue for ecological intervention. Now, what intervention does ecological do? Mm. What they will do is to take into consideration the topography of the place, yes. which they have done. They sent ten engineers to come to Obuko, and that was two years ago. Okay. And what they did was to do a remap of the water flow, taking into consideration the the original topography and the current topography of the place. As you can see, some of the buildings are unplanned. So what they would, what they are going to do now is to restructure it where the lifestyle, the sensitivity of the people is taken into consideration. So you're not really relocating, you will not relocate, but you will make life better for them. I Free houses for the widows and the never But for Taking into consideration the topography of the area and making life better for them. 
a holistic rehabilitation in the next 30 days have been promised them by the distinguished, thereby promising to build houses for widows and building their Sakamura roads, renovation of classrooms, renovation of the primary health care center to make it larger, extend maternity ward for women. All we did here really was to renovate and rehabilitate what was in existence. Okay. Uh, the Archdiocese had this, but it was so badly uh, done. And so we tried to literally pull it down, rehabilitate it, and ensure that it's conducive for primary health care. What it is is a primary health care center, but in a very bad shape. My desire really is to make this larger, which we try to do. And so the next phase will be to extend this so we can have maternity ward for, for women. Yeah. As you can see, while we are coming in, you saw the state of the, the classrooms, the schools. Yes. It's, it's, a, it's a nice sort. So what we're going to do in the next 30 days will be to pull down the roof and put it back again. So it will be conducive, rain is coming, which mm. means that having children there really it's, it's not conducive. There are no chairs, at least to the standard it should be. So we'll do holistic rehabilitation within the next 30 days, possibly longer because rain is coming, mm. but definitely uh, we have obligation to make sure that these young ones have classrooms that are in tandem with the global best practice. So that's what we're trying to put in place. She, on the other hand, extended her humanitarian act to the house of Honorable Salinas Ezewama, who lost his wife in the month of February. God knows best. I believe wherever she is, she's resting in peace. Oh, yeah. I can make you a little bit. And at the end of the day, a word of a good thing, or if only a more good thing, to carry on. That aside, I can end in India. It's a big privilege. I lost my wife, but I really lost God. Uh, this is uh, over 17 years back. So mm -hmm. I believe I won't hear Jay the people. I feel the name of the people. So, during the, may God grant you the strength and the children, because give them my sincere regards. I hope next time my Nibia will be able to meet with them. Yeah? Why?